Alrighty boys, next up we have the caverns. We gotta destroy the inlet pump, outlet pump, destroy master control console, use the radio to contact Jack Wade, and minimize the scientist casualties. Honestly, I don't remember the scientist casualties ca <laughs> casualties being that big of a deal. Um, yeah, man, I'm feeling really tapped out at this point. I'm not sure that I can finish today, tonight. Just when you thought you had me. Shh, 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 shh. Sleep the good sleep, buddy. <laughs> it looked awfully painful. So yeah, here's what I'm thinking. If we're lucky enough to be able to beat this level, I'm going to put a pin in it and I'm going to go to bed for, oh, I don't know, like six hours. That's what I'm used to getting. Um, and we're going to pick it up tomorrow. Oh my gosh, is that an AR-33? Uh, <laughs> I was going to say an AR-15 from Call of Duty, but uh, I think it's an AR-33 in this game. And so that makes me want to play it even more, because between the AR and the Soviet Union, I, like, it is a love. I love this gun. I, I can't even find the right words right now. And that jump is not going to save you, bro. I know I don't have a lot of ammo, but <laughs> it's too good to pass up. Ooh, move a little bit too quick. Dude, there's no way you... Is this like an invisible collision? Yeah, I think so. That cable right there? I think that was my mistake. Maybe. Or he's just built like a truck. He wasn't. Hmm. Lesson learned. Also, please be mindful, because they started out with an automatic, you probably want to enter rooms with an automatic on the safe side. Right, buddy? Right? And that's why we want the automatic. So we also have time mines. These are specifically used for ammunition crates, and that's basically what these are right here. I apologize for the screen. Every time you go up or down, the screen tries to automatically move. But uh, yeah, feel free to use those. You do not need the remote mines. I'm sorry, the time mines to be able to destroy the inlet and outlet pumps. That is one of them right there. All you have to do is blow up the computers. Just do not kill the scientist because the computer explosion might. Um, is he trying to protect the computer? <laughs> I need him to leave. Like, you need to go further than that, buddy. Yeah, that was a pretty big explosion. I could stand in between him and the uh, computer. That is such BS, man. See what you did? You see what you did? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move forward just a little bit, but I'm gonna be back and you better not be here. Thank you. Jeez. The action buttons don't do anything. And you guys, you got anything for me? Key cards, ammunition, secrets perhaps? Oh no. Buddy, what happened? Well, at least he's away from the computer, and that's what matters the most. Please move. Move! <laughs> oh my goodness, let me go and just stand in a corner. I'm gonna look right over here, and as long as I'm not looking, maybe he left. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it worked. Yeah, you don't actually have to destroy the screen, just the, the computers. And if you're running low on ammo, do not forget the ammunition crates. Boy, he wasn't a threat, was he? Oh my gosh, I remember this room because the water was always... Like, I love Aquamarine and Jade, don't get me wrong, but the water is just so bad. It's a flat texture on a flat plane with a little dynamic motion. Uh, what do they call that? I mean, yeah, they refer to it as dynamics, um, but I respect they did the best they could. Anyway, without getting distracted, because I'm tired, let's go ahead and keep moving. In, like, this pinecone-looking cavern place. Let's see if we can get him in the face. And I'm pretty sure that we did, but these guys are tough. Oh, 
Oh man, I think he's got an AR, so I gotta be careful with this one. Is he going to stand next to his buddy, or is he going to come back around? Oh, you know what? I might be able to... I was gonna try to kill two birds with one stone, but I wasn't quick enough. Right above your face. And you know what? Your friend didn't even care. Didn't even blink an eye. I bet he did then. <laughs> oh, man. I was gonna say, dude, I know you see me. Oh no. Did I run out of ammo? Almost. I don't know what happened. What did he do? Get confused halfway through? Because he started to turn around like, no, this is a bad idea. He's killed many people. And he would be right, because I did. So here's what we know about the AR-33. It can shoot through stuff, which means if I want to conserve, like, a mine, I go ahead and kneel down. One second, I just want to make sure nobody's going to sneak up on me. So you can go ahead and kneel down and just kind of try to line it up, but don't be too close for the explosion and see what you can get. I guess it wasn't as potent as I had hoped. Um, lesson learned. We're gonna go ahead and move on. Just give me a second. All right. Ooh. I thought there would be more. There are more. Oh, I see you down there, buddy. Let's see if I can get you with a pistol. I think so. Yep. He's on his knees. That's how I know. I did my job. No. Oh. <laughs> I was just like, F it, whatever, dude. <laughs> you know, I don't know what it is, but you would almost think that this was not on Double O Agent. I'm not saying it's not difficult, but compared to some of the other levels we played, and even the jungle wasn't as bad as I remember it, but dang, I mean, the control room? This, this is like, this doesn't compare, like, at all by any means. That was an accident. I don't know what to say. I I don't feel bad. I know that. <laughs> Ooh. Gotcha. You know what? Let's go ahead and use the AR for this one. Cool beans. Oh, that's right, that's right. So whenever you use the staircase, the ceiling always has that invisible collision. Which is pretty annoying. You know what? Let's try to sneak up behind him and smack him. Here we go. We're going in for the, <laughs> We're going in for the kill. Oh my gosh. He was faking. He knew. He knew I was there the whole time. Note to self, harder difficulty, no games. Don't be playing around. Well, isn't this little area a treat? Let me see, where do I want to put it? Let's try to, like, right there in the corner. Oh, no, that's not good. 
<laughs> that is not good at all. Maybe I can put it right there? Yeah, that's better than nothing. I tried to get it in between. And I guess we just go ahead and pick up the ammo. Holy cow. <laughs> Do you hear all that? That's insane. I'm set for like the rest of the level. There's no way I'm not. I also know that these, like it's a vague memory, but if you shoot these lockers right here, it's gonna open up a little shortcut. But when you get to the other side, there's more lockers. And when you destroy those, the enemies are gonna hear it. It's gonna be a problem. So what I'm gonna do is just act like I never knew about it. And we're gonna go ahead up here, go halfway through. And I believe there's a door on the right side. And I, th I think it actually connects to that room, something like that. Oh, you know what? Um, yep, let's go ahead and get this one. Did he really see me down there? Because the dude right next to the door didn't. Let me see if I can hit him in the hand and see if we can pull him in. Oh boy. I am so sorry. <laughs> I want to put him out of his misery, but there's nothing I can do at this point. He's just going to have to bleed out because I need the bullets. I don't. I do, but I don't. <laughs> just feel a little indecisive right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have an enemy and what looks like a turret. Oh my gosh, you can't reload in those tight spaces. It looks like a sandwich kind of room. Very dangerous. Yep. Door is closing behind me. Never a good feeling. Oh boy. How many? That's what I want to know. How many are down there? Oh, I guess... I was gonna say, I, I guess that's it. I guess that's not it. Yeah, you really don't want to do stair battles unless you're at the bottom of the staircase. Right, buddy? So this one should be the inlet or outlet pump B, but it'll be the last one. Okay, so I think the last one was minimize the scientist casualties, so I know that this is not the end of that. Most of the level should already be complete, so let's just go ahead and do a little bit of exploring. Not a big deal that that is locked. We're just gonna go around, I guess. This area should be completely clear. Yep. And we're gonna go ahead and progress through this door. What secrets lie on the other side? There's only one way to find out. Oh my gosh. An enemy. Who never stood a chance? That room looks bigger than just one dude. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now that they see me, let's see if I can just kind of bait them on over. And I really hope they're not going to be throwing grenades, because I don't want to deal with that. Okay, here's what I would do. I'm going to bank to the left. That, okay, okay, that, probably not a good idea. Not a good idea. Doesn't appear to be any body armor. I have more than enough ammunition, so at least, you know, that that's a winning strategy, right? <laughs> Those ammo crates were amazing. Ooh, don't, he's, he's, he, he's about to throw a grenade. Oh no, I th oh no. No, no. <laughs> don't fail the mission, come on. What a dummy. 
What a dummy. I'm so sorry that your friend is dead, bro. He is so frantic. His, he must be dealing with like an anxiety attack or something <laughs> because he is not listening. I am so grateful that these barrels did not explode. Got your berries, Jimbo. Me and the boys are on the way. Perfect. And then we have to destroy the control console, something like that, I don't know. The master control console. And so I think that this is going to take you to the end of the level. And that might be the last of the computer. So once we made contact, I think it's okay to destroy it, but I'm just going to go ahead and shoot this and see what happens. Yes, so for the most part, I think that we accomplished the level. I'm just going to let this guy go. I would put him out of his misery, but I am a little bit nervous. Come on, man. I don't want to actually shoot you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we gotta we gotta get this guy out of here, man. I think like like I said, I think that this door is gonna take you to the end of the level, and this guy needs to like be far away from me because he is a problem. We already lost at least one scientist. Where did you come from? How did you not see me? I don't know what to say. I got lucky. I'm just going to go ahead and close this door behind me. I don't like to be tracked. And I also don't want people jumping on me from behind, so... Shit! This is not fair. If I die from this, that's ridiculous. They never make it easy, man. Not at the end of the level, they don't. One hit, that would have been the end of me. So yeah, hard to believe that that was a double-O agent mission, but like a pro, like a champ, we knocked it out. Now we can get some well-deserved R&R and maybe a little bit of chicken wings that I have right next door, because KFC is a big win for me. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm gonna go ahead and put a pin in it, but I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow morning or something like that, and hopefully we can put an end to this. So. Take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello, everybody, and good morning. I hope you are well rested. We are about to begin one of the last levels. The reason I say one of the last levels is because, and this is important to note, if you have not beaten every single level on Double O Agent, like the train, for example, nobody wants to play that level. It sucks. Then you're not going to be able to progress with what is known as the Aztec, and on the right side of that, the bottom right, is the temple. So these are kind of like secret levels, technical levels, but secret levels, and the only way to play them is to beat the game on the hardest difficulty. So for a lot of people, this is going to be the last level that you do play, unfortunately. Um, but don't worry, because we're going to be playing it together. And in order to beat this level, we have to destroy the control console and settle the score with Trevelyan. All in all, it's not such a bad level. I would say that it takes four minutes or less. It's going to be a toggle running back and forth. Very easy to follow. Um, the good news is there are two packs of body armor, and one of them is right when you start out. Go ahead and hook a left. It's going to be in the corner. And then you're going to want to run up this ramp. So there's going to be an enemy firing at you. Don't worry about it. Just take the hits. That is what the first pack is for. And then take him down. Take his weapons. Whip them out. And then you're going to have three enemies that are going to pull right here at the corner. So if you were to stop, I'm telling you right now, you would become overwhelmed. You would be frustrated. There is a third. He must be running behind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Once you're overwhelmed, he kind of threw me off guard there. Then, then that's the point we have a problem. You have to restart the level because, of course, you're not going to survive it. Anyway, so moving forward, once you get down to the bottom of this, following where Trevelyan went, stand far enough away. The turret does not see you. There is a total of two turrets in the room. Shoot them in the butt. Just a bullet. Do not deplete your ammunition. The computer is also in this room, so the timer is not really a big deal. Uh, yes, I noticed that the enemy caught up from behind. Not the end of the world. Oh crap, <laughs> I did not plan for a fourth. 
Uh, thank you for the ammunition. Go ahead, close the door behind you. As you can see, the doors will open and close much quickly, or very quickly. Uh, so he's going to be at the bottom of the ramp, and you barely want to touch the guy. And so what he's going to do at this point, he either drops a grenade. Yep, there's a grenade right there. And he'll run across the map to the other side. Why? I don't know. You basically have to follow him around the entire level. So at this point, now that we have depleted our bulletproof armor, we're going to go ahead and pick up our second momentarily. Ooh, nice dodge. And so the second pack of bulletproof armor is going to be found right here in this room. Let's go ahead right around the corner and right there in the ground. And once again, Trevelyan is going to be at the bottom of the staircase. <laughs> he's very afraid of me, so he's got the AR-33. And so he's going to either drop a grenade, maybe not this time, but he's once again going to go ahead and run across the other side, so we got to cut him off. Otherwise, he's going to go to the top where we came from. And so I guess, like, who really wants to run around this map? No. <laughs> no, you want to be done as quickly as possible. Uh, just be patient for the enemies so that you can collect their weapons. Oop, got him. He dropped a grenade. You could hear it. I didn't see it, but I heard it. Close the door behind you, because again, you don't want anybody sneaking up on you. Everybody does so much damage, like they could knock you out of the race real quick. He says, come on, is that the best you can do? Of course, it's not the best I could do. <laughs> Just taking it easy on him. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not sure that waking up into one of the last levels is how you want to wake up. It's very unsettling, but it's also, it's also a lot of fun. So far, the game has been a blast. Got you in the butt, buddy. So once the music picks up, then he's going to run to the basement, and that's where you can kind of have a final showdown. I have no idea where the enemy went. Is he going to go the long way? Yeah, I don't know either. All right, try to make these shots quick. You'll never win, James. Oh, oh shit, 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 shit. Ah, uh, I saw that last second. So he <laughs> he still needs a little bit more abuse. You know the nice thing about taking down the enemies is the only way they're going to open fire on you is for a straight line. Like, just straight up beeline in order to fire the weapon. So that's like really beneficial, very predictable. And I think this is the last time. Right, buddy? Right? I hope it's the last time. All right, let's see if we can get this hit. Yep. That's it. Finish the job, James, if you can. So the music picks up, and he goes right over here in the middle, runs down the stairs, and he basically just drops off like he commits suicide, but there's a platform down there. Here's the trick. You want to do what he did, and then you want to do a 180-degree spin. And that's it. We beat the level. So like I said, I'm pretty sure that it was around or less than four minutes. And now we can go ahead and jump the helicopter and ride to safety like the badasses we are. Well done, everybody. Well done.